Hello and welcome. Very good evening. You're watching the Urban Debate. I am Afrida Rahman Ali. And today we are going to discuss a highly contentious issue of a decision that is being taken by this government with regards to the monsoon session of parliament. What is important here is that viewers, the Lok Sabha Secretariat has made an official release of the schedule for the monsoon session. And there is one thing that it does not have. It does not have the question hour. The question hour, remember, is the very first hour of any session where the members of parliament raise issues, questions the government and seeks answers. So that whole process of question and answer takes place in the first hour of the session. That is being done away with for the monsoon session that is to begin from the 14th of September and ends on the 1st of October. The interesting point to note here is this is for the first time that a question hour has been cancelled for, cancel for the entire session. No time allocated for it as per the notification. This is being done in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. There will be no question hour and private members business during this monsoon session. So that's the issue under discussion. We will have members of parliament joining us from across party lines to give us their points of view. We want to give representation to various parties so that their voices are heard and we get their perspective on this particular decision. The popular perception viewers is that this is escapist, this is undemocratic and this is stifling the voices of the rightfully elected representatives. This time it's not about people or opposition, it's about the duly elected public representatives to the parliament whose voices are being silent. So that is why this is a big issue and also of course the opinion coming out that this defeats the whole purpose of a parliament session which is convened in the first place for conducting legislative business but also for seeking accountability. That is one of the primary goal and purpose, aim and purpose of having a parliament session. It, it's not throughout that a parliament session is held. It comes uh, uh, that many times in a year so there is a backlog there is an anticipation to raise those issues so that facility that provision has been taken away it's not about the opposition it's also about the rights of the citizens because remember these are members of parliament whose duty is to raise the concerns of the people from their respective constituencies so that facility also uh, goes away if the question R is taken away this is the most legitimate forum for questioning for parliamentarians which we are not going to have in this monsoon session. Remember that this is not just a questioning session or a seeking accountability session, it's also a redressal mechanism. Oftentimes you have appointment of commissions, a court of inquiry or changes in law also that is uh, enabled after uh, the minister in question takes notes and therefore a large aspect of governance actually relies on this aspect. Uh, can you summarily dismiss it, abolish it? So those questions will be addressed in today's discussion. Before I go to my guests and introduce my guests, very quick uh, running through of what is a question hour so that our viewers uh, get the context. What is a question hour? The first hour of a sitting of Lok Sabha is devoted to question by members of opposition. Questions on administration and government policies are raised. Minister responsible must answer the question. So there is that is a mandatory part here as opposed to zero hour where answering is not mandatory but one can raise issues. Gives a quick feel of the pulse of the nation. Grievances of public concerning administration discussed. Brings unnoticed loopholes to the fore which is why I said this is integral for course correction. So you've removed the very first step of understanding a problem and therefore the course correction can never happen. This may lead to appointment, like I said, of a commission or a court of inquiry. So I'm now going to introduce uh, my panel this evening. I am joined by Javed Ansari, senior journalist, who is with us this evening. Professor Rakesh Sinha, member of parliament, Rajya Sabha. Binoy Vishwa, member of parliament, Rajya Sabha from the Communist Party of India. A. Navneet Krishnan, Member of Parliament, Rajya Sabha from the AIA DMK and also Dr. Ami Yagnik, Member of Parliament of Rajya Sabha from the Congress Party. So I want to throw open the discussion and I want to bring out this point here. Uh, if I can go across to Dr. Ami Yagnik first, Member of Parliament of the Congress Party. Ami Yagnik, uh, it seems Rajnath Singh had reached out to your leader, Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, informed him that this is a decision in the offing. And why is this being taken? Well, in view of the pandemic, because a lot of officials are required to facilitate the question hour. So that luxury is not there anymore. Seating arrangements have been changed. So many 
logistical issues are there and therefore apparently uh, Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary was informed and he is in the know of things. So why is suddenly the Congress party now coming out and training its guns against the government for taking this decision? Ami Agni. First of all, uh, let me tell you that informing or giving a call is not as good as having a part of the participatory democracy we are in. It has to be a consensus. It has to be talked about. It has to be discussed, especially when there is a time like this, which is absolutely unprecedented, and we all are facing hardships. And so when everyone is looking forward to the monsoon session, especially the people of this country, because this is the only way their uh, elected person whom they have sent to the parliament will raise their questions. And let me tell you, across the uh, country, uh, pan-India, there are issues and issues and people want to bring these issues to the parliament. And so everyone was, everyone is looking forward to the monsoon session. In such a situation, when you just take the name of one of the ministers of the ruling dispensation that he had informed, I think this is not the way it is done. And I think we are talking about a very, very healthy uh, democracy uh, in India. And there are ways and methods and procedures that have to be followed when we are talking about the parliament. That is the first point. The second point is, you said the logistics are difficult. Well, I think time and again, the Honorable Prime Minister also has said that we, are here, we have to live with the uh, corona or the COVID. And I think the whole world is adjusting to this situation. And everything is changing. Mm. The, the world is practically new after uh, a COVID uh, a pandemic. And so if uh, there, is a, uh, there is a methodology which has to be adopted in social distancing, sitting arrangements, how we will be participating, well, that has to be there. We have to live with this. But that doesn't give you a reason or that doesn't give you an excuse that you have to let go of something that is very, very vital to our democracy. And why the question hour? Why you want uh, to run away from the question hour? That okay. is a question I think uh, somebody should have asked Rajnath Singh. That yes, uh, why you want to run away from okay. the question hour? I take your this point. This is the question hour where hmm. people are send, sending questions through their representatives. Okay, why are you running away from the questions, Rakesh Sinha, if I can bring you in? Uh, like Ami Agnik says, this is a very vital instrument of democracy that you are thinking of doing away with. And let me tell you, uh, the NEET and JE exams that were just held, there's so many people now talking about the fact that how you push the students out to grave risk, that then all these things did not matter about your arrangements and sitting arrangements, etc. When it comes to the netas, now there is abundant caution exercised. Why this duplicity? Why such double standards? You know, first of all, the Congress is engaged in ghost fights. While the schedules has been prepared, and there has been a wide consultation with all the political parties. Gulam Nabi Ajad is the Rajya Sabha leader of the Congress party and opposition. And Adhi Ranjan Chaudhary ha has been fought. When both had no objection at that time, now Congress in public has been objecting. Now my, my fundamental question to the Congress party is, this is an extraordinary situation. And government is not running away from the question hour. It is a matter of time constraint. You know, all over the world, in parliamentary democracy or the presidential form of government, you just go from Australia to in Greece or Latin American parliament or the Western European parliament, you, what you find? In, in every, most of the parliaments have been connected by the internet. In India, we have done every exercise to bring all the members physically there in mm. the parliament, uh, physically in the parliament. Secondly, just in British Parliament, only 120 members were connected with the, in, with, with the internet. In, in France, France uh, National Assembly, you know, only 30 members out of eight po po political parties were allowed to present. In, and almost all the uh, parliaments assembled during the, the, during the COVID-19 phase only to pass the economic response to the crisis. You just go, I'm just giving Sweden passed $30 billion. Uh, Portugal passed uh, almost uh, $9.26 billion. This kind of thing have done. Italy, 
Italy has reduced the number of the members who, who were present, and they passed only for the emergency, uh, emergency financial measures. What I want to raise is that Indian parliament is meeting, and all, all members but have we are discussing the, the question now, uh, Mr. Sinha. You are digressing uh, uh, from the topic. Uh, we are not talking no, about holding parliament sessions online, etc. We are specifically focusing on the issue of doing away with a very you, vital question hour. Uh, uh, Can you focus uh, uh, on that, my, please? My, my humble request is that kindly understand what I am speaking. It is not a classroom that you are asking me an objective question. I have to, I'm, I'm answering that question, that entire in extraordinary situation, the parliaments are meeting all over the world, mm. who are meeting with a, with a different, different motive. That motive is to respond to the marginalized people, respond to the needy, respond to the unemployed people. And here the reconstruction, not only India, America, Australia, France, everywhere there is a question of reconstruction. Who is the stopping member of parliament to raise the question? There is a zero hour. Zero hour, you can raise any question. But Anybody how are you reconstructing the question? Are what's the alternative that you are giving immediately to you, for you that know, redressal or for raising you know, questions? You, know, you, you know, are talking you about know, restructuring. Where is the restructuring when, here, Mr. Sinha? Very quickly when, before I go to the next when, guest. When all 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 the ordinances would be brought, that is very essential, vital for the marginalized people. You are you are trying to you are trying to kill the government ordinances because it is the government which is responding to marginal people. Narendra Modi government has done very well to facilitate most poor people, farmers, peasants, farmers, workers, and you are trying to kill the, all, all the ordinances because you want to waste the time. It is not the co 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 government is running, running away. It's a four hours time. In the four hours time, the, the, the schedule is we are meeting every Saturday and Sunday, and the members can raise the uh, urgent issues. Member can half, half an hour discussion. If you are finding that there are certain emergent issues, you can you can write to a speaker or the chairman of Rajya Sabha. But in that half an hour discussion, you don't have a facility of uh, answering to the uh, no, members. I, I, uh, I, just, I, I understand you're talking about the zero hour, just, but just, that does not just, compensate for doing away just, with question hour, does it? Just, just, okay, let me bring in my next guest, Binoy Vishwam of the CPI. Uh, hold on, Mr. Hold on, Mr. Sinha, I'll come back to you. Just one sentence, I'm just telling you. you know, okay, okay, complete hour, your point. Question, there are two parts of the question hour. One is the star question and another is a start question. On various topics, all the uh, under the sun, you can ask any question to the government. And you can have the, uh, the there are limited star questions which are every day uh, in Rajya Sabha, eight to nine questions, uh, members uh, got, got, got opportunity. And every question. Here we are meeting at a special occasion. You can raise any question about the COVID or any important thing about the financial measures of the government. It is just a time constraint which led the government and the opposition party who, uh, who agreed that time. Now they are in the. Okay, a time constraint. Okay. It's the pandemic. These are extraordinary situations. I got your point. You have also cited international practices. Binoy Vishwam. You have uh, raised this issue and in fact you have also written to the Rajya Sabha Chairman M. Venkai and I do saying the suspension of question hour in the private members business is unjust and you want it reinstated. Are you convinced with what Mr. Rakesh Sinha just uh, said justifying this decision? Rakesh Sinha is a very, very good friend of mine. Though from the BJP, he is an active member in the House, always making use of all the possibilities of a member raise their shoes with a genuine mind. I respect him in that regard. But all the arguments that my young friends on the BJP mm. raised today, now in this debate, I should tell very frankly, I beg to differ from my friends. I beg to differ. Because the question is quite simple. That simple question is that, how can it be justified the question of and other important parts private members' business. Both these parts are withdrawn from the agenda all of a sudden in a very cunning manner. 15 days are the naughtiest time for a question, but the summons came only 14 days in advance. In a subtle way, in a cunning way, in a most undemocratic way, the BJP government is denying the rights of the members to raise their questions. Not their questions. Those questions are the questions of the country, the questions of the people, the questions of the present and the future. Why is the government is afraid of that questions? 
I'm sure even so those people in the BJP who have little concern for democratic values in the heart of hearts they would also not agree with what the government have done i should tell the christian hour and the private members business are to be considered as the soul of the parliament as the soul of democracy as the place where the people's voice reflections and wishes their hope for the future their criticisms all are to be raised there not only from the opposition these are the rights which are allowed for the ruling party also but out of sheer right. reasons of cowardice the bjp government is running away from that it has no justification at all it okay. is a clear cut violation well, right. of the rules of procedure hmm. of the house it's a negation of the democratic values okay it's This a clear violation of process and procedure of democratic values of parliamentary convention and uh, uh, you know uh, point well made let me also uh, bring in uh, mr a navneet krishnan before i go to uh, javed ansari for uh, his perspective uh, let me bring in all the voices yes. first uh, mr navneet <clears throat> krishnan uh, you know again if you remember tamil nadu mp h vasant kumar yes. from your state actually succumbed to covid so if the government is exercising caution yes. in the interest of everyone yes. covid does not yes. hit only one party or the other it's in yes. the interest of the safety of all members that this step is being taken yes. i mean why is it such a, a, a matter yes. uh, to oppose uh, for you what is your view on this ah uh, thank you madam for giving me this opportunity i am of the very humble view madam the government has taken a right decision in dispensing with question and answer session and the private members bill session the reason is well known covid-19 pandemic okay the pandemonium in parliament is also well known the very even one minute the opposition party never uh gives any guarantee for smooth running of question and answer even in during normal days so the functioning of question and answer session is always uh in question so the opposition is always went into the well uh, going into the well and uh, disrupting the question and our uh, question and answer um session so my humble submission would be this is a very unprecedented situation prevailing hmm. now even the very honorable members uh, of the parliament okay. or at least uh, our member uh, mr vasant kumar is victim of uh, covid 19 pandemic so now in collecting the materials there will be definitely problem in assisting the member ministers there will be a problem so we we be the one uh, uh, while presenting the answer it must be error free so the uh, the opposition parties mm. insisting upon question and answer session is only for the sake of opposition practically what is not possible is being asked for okay. this is my humble opinion and also in many other ways Well, ways and means. Okay, Javed Ansari. The opposition can achieve right. their hmm. meaningful, purposeful. Hello. Right. Hello. Okay. Yes, got your point. Can I proceed, madam? Well, you made a fair point that the opposition uh, of is always right. venting. They are disrupting the question. Ah, it, it it's often a futile exercise. I want to go across to Javed Ansari on this. Uh, yes javed are you convinced yes. with that argument that uh, you know uh, this is a small price thank to you, pay madam. Thank considering you. that there is a larger interest before that only one minute may be given madam uh, that is to be taken care of no stay on with us mr no. navid krishnan no please please stay on with us i'm just coming back to you i'll get in all the views first javed ansari look if covid is the reason then why have the session at all because you know if if it is to prevent people from getting infected then what is the guarantee that this that there will be a maximum danger during question hour and during the rest of the day 
they will be fine. I mean, the, that danger is, uh, is, will be there throughout. Whenever parliament meets, they've taken extraordinary steps. I also am not entirely convinced by arguments from, uh, from both sides. The duration, the actual duration of, of the time that parliament will meet and sit remains the same. So then why just do, why do away with question one? And the government has conceded some ground today. Uh, we learned that they have now agreed to giving written answers yes. to questions. So, um, so that's a concession. It would have been a lot better if they had allowed question and answers for, uh, if they had allowed question R to, to continue, because that's important. Question R uh, serves a very important important purpose. It allows members to uh, to ask questions of the Every ministry has a day allotted where they have to uh, answer these questions that are submitted a fortnight in advance. It would have been a lot better if the question R would have been allowed. But the heavens will not fall. They will still have time provided. Members don't waste time in pandemonium and bedlam and in just grandstanding. And this pertains to members across the divide. When the BJP was in opposition, they were no different. They used to hold up proceedings. They used to disrupt parliament. The Congress and the rest of the opposition is doing the same. So political parties will adopt positions depending on where they stand. But the fact of the matter is, I mean, I for one would have been happier if question R had continued because the, the duration won't change. And at least it gives people a chance, members a, ch a chance to, be, to raise questions. And this is not just, a, you know, because when you have a discussion, only the top members get to speak. Here, it's, it's a question of lottery. If you're, uh, you, you put up questions and if your name is picked, then you get to ask. So, so that way, th this is one opportunity lost for, a, for MPs. Yes, an opportunity lost, uh, Rakesh Sinha. So your arguments there, of course, being countered very effectively by the other members of the panel. What do you have to say? Because, you know, this cuts both ways. It's not as if this would not hurt the government. I mean, if this is a government in right earnest wanting to do good for the country, you would want a feedback mechanism. That is what the MPs do for you. When they bring up concerns, they also uh, give you an idea of the sense on the ground or from the voices of the people. So why would you, you know, want to compromise with something like that, Rakesh Sinha? You know, you know, democracy is based on certain values. And when we are discussing, we are discussing as a parliamentarians, our, our both friends, and both are very good friends. They are very active. As they, uh, as Vinay Vishram uh, told me, the, uh, about, uh, told me about the, uh, me, uh, about me that I have been very active. E equally, both members are very. Th all three members are very active in parliament. We are all active at, 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 on the floor. But what is matter? When you know, we have four hours. Every uh, both the houses, each house has four hours. In 17 days, 68 hours. And most of the important ordinances have to be passed. Second thing is that when question hour is, you know, the, all the galleries are occupied by the members due to social distancing. Due to the question hours, almost all, uh, uh, one dozen officers have to remain in the, in, in the, in the gallery. Now, where will they sit? These are, these are the practical things. Populism is one thing and, and reality is the other thing. Where would they sit? Because they, they are essentially they have to be present. If there is a uh, question on the coal ministry or the home ministry or any other ministry, the officials of these ministries, at least eight to nine ministries are covered. If you are covering five ministries, you can say they cover five ministries. Three, three members of the, each ministry would be present there. Then 15 members have to be, 15 uh, uh, officers have to be present. So these are the actual real problem which a parliament is facing. It is not the question of any, any government is running away. And COVID is not going to continue for right. 10 years. Next is one, one more point. Just, just give me the, the, the 10 seconds. The important thing is that, mm -hmm. that when you are alternatively meeting and four hours you have, you can discuss the most important thing that is saving the humanity. How, how to uh, fulfill the demands of the most marginalized people, the prime ministers uh, and, and the government's declaration about the, about, the, about the farmers and the common people we have, all have. So this is the time. Sangajatham sambadadham. This is the this is the parliamentary mo motive. We have to go to uh, move together and speak togetherness. This is the time of togetherness. This is not the time to uh, have allegation and counter allegation. We are in the phase of reconstructing the nation, economy, culture, our political and even personal life. 
our okay. our family life is are disrupted and in this disruption you are you are mm -hmm. trying to disrupt by populist propaganda that is not good for democracy in fact you are devaluing the democracy this is the communist style and congress is unfortunately following this com communist style to degrade and characterize of the entire parliamentary democracy you don't have in faith in parliamentary democracy you are, you are list talking okay, so let me give the spokesperson of the congress and the communist party to respond to that you have uh, you have made a made a charge and let let the spokespersons of the respective parties respond mr sinha uh, yes ami agnik uh, are you degrading are you not uh, cooperating and collaborating with the government in this difficult times may, may i just make a point here that with regards to covid let's understand that the highest risk is to congregate in an enclosed space and rakesh sinha has a point there when he says how do you accommodate so many members is a real problem because uh, the average age of, of parliamentarians if uh, if i've got the number correctly is about 54 so the, you know most are elderly uh, and we know the number of uh, mps who have already fallen to covid and this is a high risk situation in an enclosed space a congregation of a number of people uh, is not an ideal situation right now ami agnik the uh... he is tried uh, mr sinha has tried to put forth some argument which is not very convincing because for example when you are having a session and when you are accommodating all the mps and making uh, an arrangement where everyone is accommodated and all safe distancing measures are being observed are going to be observed and uh, uh, whatever other uh, requirements to keep safe distancing sanitizing and everything is going to be done why the question hour is singled out the question hour is the soul of democracy questions are being asked the ministers of the respective ministries have come have to come forward and give the right answers to the people who have raised that question and the question is being put forth by the representative of that particular constituency why is the government not wanting to answer especially when two issues are there one there has been a corona kind of a, a, a situation where you have to give answers whether it's the healthcare system or whether what has happened in different parts of the country and what has happened to the economy of the country and everyone is talking about the minus gdp the uh, economic situation okay. of the country is talked about globally and there are no answers coming forth from the government and the people who are not being able to talk directly to the government are telling their representatives to raise these issues in the parliament during question hour so where is the government placed why is it not ready to give answers to these questions and that is why we are only talking of the question hour if the parliament can run for 4 hours okay. why can't it run for 5 hours why can't there be a question hour why you are worried mm -hmm. about running answering these questions there are four right questions yes, so and that, for six Mr. months says, what has happened to, to this country you have to answer are more important legislative business is more important question hour is is not the highest in priority that is perhaps mr sinha's argument i'll take a quick response from binoy vishwam uh, also on this yes uh, mr vishwam your response to what mr rakesh sinha said and also this is just for one session it's not like the government wants to do away with question hour that would be a very misleading thing to say it's just for this monsoon session just because of covid so would it wouldn't not be an exaggeration to say that this is stifling opposition or crushing dissent this is just for one session Uh, that we are talking about mr binoy vishwam how can it be a federation the simple truth you are telling i fully share the views expressed by my honorable colleague so yani madam madam yani she is a very prominent member of the house very active and i i do accept it here many of the questions asked by the bjp members are also genuine questions which express their concerns about the society about the poor people but their government is not in a mood to heed to their questions irrespective of opposition or ruling sides the government is angry with the questions they are not happy with the questions they dislike the questions for so in a simple way they decide no question hour no private members business mm. and to justify that very ridiculous arguments my friend first ran to the latin american countries to the europe to tell it to france everywhere 
except to india he ran here and there all over the globe and now he came to the sankachatham sambadvatham he quoted from rigveda and all these quotations are okay let us go together let us be together let us find the truth together what is the truth here the truth is that the people are dying on the streets 65000 is the rate today 13 lakhs are affected a government a government that has failed everywhere has failed miserably in fighting the covid 2 and this government cannot claim that that government has any concern for the poor it is not with the poor 73 lakhs of crores they have written off for the willful defaulters who are the political cousins the economic their friends they are and this government is telling in order to give only a mere 75000 rupees 7500 rupees to a person below the income tax level okay abhijit pagar ji says amartya sen says okay uh, mr vinay so vishwam uh, there is a slight change that is being made if i can point out what javed ansari also highlighted that now the government has decided to allow unstarred questions meaning written questions that will receive written responses so it is not as if the entire process of questioning the government has been done away with i want to go across uh, uh, to um, uh, rakesh sinha and uh, javed ansari again rakesh sinha to you first there are raging issues at the moment that is plaguing the country let's not shy away from talking about the fact that there are gdp issues to gst issues from covid strategy to china aggression to the ncrb data that has just been released to the food grains distribution issue now when you have all of these range of issues how can the government in any way absolve itself from answerability there is a lot of answerability that has to be sought from this government and as many avenues that can be created should be created on the contrary you are restricting you are constricting that space you know those who understand the parliamentary democracy also know the role of the standing committee a standing committee is known as a mini parliament and the real business takes place in the standing committee where the, all the political parties members are there uh, and they they discuss and deliberate beyond the ideological and political limitation and i i i am proud to say that a uh, standing committee led by anand sharma congress leader home uh, uh, department related home affairs standing committee has met thrice jairam ramesh is heading a committee on uh, in environment and uh, environment that led almost uh, twice and the th third time it is going to meet jpc joint parliamentary committee almost is, including sub committees met five times so it is who is stifling the parliamentary democracy when all the members are coming and unfortunately the the uh, the presence of the members is very very um, disappointing in the standing committee where there are limited members all the all the facilities are, are, are to the members but there are limited numbers or the, the minimum num, num, number of people attending the standing committee meeting this is other part as far yagnik is concerned uh, uh, with all respect to uh, congress uh, uh, representative you know you are a very active you are raising the question but the your two important leaders rahul gandhi and sonia gandhi have not raised a single question you go to prs neither they have participated they have not raised a single star and star question they have not raised a, any parliament they have not participated in private member business pri pri uh, private members business so this is this is a hypocrisy that you are not facing the real real uh, real issue real issue is that time is this is limited time how can we increase the time Four hours Lok Sabha, four hours Raj Sabha. In between two okay. hours required. Okay. Yes, you made that point uh, earlier as well on the time constraint. Yes, and now you are saying that there are other revenues, there are other forums. Question R is not the only space available to the opposition. Javed Ansari, your response to that, and uh, of course now. Uh, to a certain extent the battle is won because the government has conceded some ground like you pointed out very correctly uh, but in the overall context the fact that mr rakesh sinha believes that there are standing committees there are many other such forums for question answer or for seeking accountability for that matter yeah, he has a point to an to the extent that yes 
standing committees do. Uh, in fact, standing committees do a very good job because, for one reason, because its workings are in camera, television cameras and media personnel are not allowed. And although I'm from the, from the media, I must say, uh, because they work in private in camera, they do a, do do a very good job. And there is a high degree of bipartisanship. Unfortunately, that's not seen on the floor okay. of the house. Having said that, you know, the difference between raising question R and taking part in a debate is that in a debate, you know, whoever has the majority carries the day. Here, at least, you can ask a particular minister, uh, the concerned minister, pointed questions, and he has to, mm. to willy-nilly answer that. He, he has to willy-nilly answer that. In, in a debate, it's only the front-ranking people who get to speak. Yes. There is limit, limited time. Right. Right. And uh, there is, you, you, mm. you know, people just make the larger point instead of getting into specifics. I would have been happier as somebody who's covered parliament for 37 years. Right. Uh, you know, this, this will be unprecedented. I would have been happier if question, if parliament had found a way to, to allow question R to continue. Just, can I add one sentence? Just one sentence. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, no, just uh, just yes. give me 10 seconds. I'm adding. Yes, go there ahead. Was, go ahead, Mr. Sinha. There, there is a difference. There is a, what is the difference between a star question and an unstarred question? Both are equally. Sometimes I put the same question in both because the star question is on the basis of balloting. And that balloting, a few members get the chance. Only difference is that in a star question, I can, I can raise supplementary questions. To the minister, the, the, the supplementary questions, and here in a star question, you don't have opportunity to ask the supplementary question. If you are putting any question, the minister is liable to answer in a, in a star question. You are getting all the information. This is only the, now we have reached to the conclusion. It is the time constraint which is depriving us from the star question. And this is not for all the time. This is a special circumstances. In a special circumstances, the special session of the parliament, it is a normal session, but it is a special session. And why I compared with Italy and Greece and Australia and France? Because parliament, yeah, India is not in isolation. British parliamentary democracy is 700 years old. And how many members participated? And British par prime minister was absent because he's COVID affected. So you know that th these are the situation where everybody is realizing in, in Britain, France, Australia, America, the opposition realizes. Here, opposition remains obstructionist all five years. They have to oppose the government. Whether it is a COVID, whether it is a flood, you, you are raising constructive questions. Nobody is stopping you, Binavishra. And about the Kerala, you are asking about the economic situation. How many COVID warriors left Kerala because you are not paying? You have, you have decreased the salary. You are cutting the salary of the doctors, nurses, and you are talking about the financial situation of the center is doing all the things for the farmers, marginalized people. Narendra Modi is dedicated and devoted to the marginalized people. He, you cannot call him socialist, but whatever the measures he is taking, he is taking as a socialist measures. I can claim that he is taking all the socialist measures for the poor people. All six years he is devoted to the no, common but then, and Mr. Rakesh Sinha, there is a reason why a question hour is designed. It, there is a certain purpose for it, which is why it's there in the first place. So it would be probably unfair to say that even if you do away with... Uh, well, we can still manage, the government is still doing its bit. There is a reason why this particular provision was created. Let's respect that. And let's also respect the fact that the government, uh, in its wisdom, has decided to retain part of that uh, procedure. And this is a very integral, a very critical instrument of democracy. We all agree on that. And therefore, you cannot have a situation of banning and abolishing question R as if it is one of your Chinese apps to be banned. This is not one of those things. This is critical for democracy. This is something we need for a vibrant democracy. And this is not about the government or opposition. These are voices of people that need representation. So we have to concede there that the question hour must be retained. Whatever be the compulsions of the government, we do understand that under the present circumstances, certain compromises have to be made and that is probably being done. I would like to thank my guests joining me this evening on this very healthy discussion. I hope our viewers have benefited from the perspectives made by the enlightened guests joining us this evening. We'll take a very short break here. News and updates continue on the other side. Thanks for joining us.